How's it going squad? Hope you're all doing well and welcome to today's back and bicep strength, tone and sculpt session to really help you push forward with your goals. Now this workout is solely focused on the back and bicep so that we're going to get hit hard with this session. It's going to be back to back, literally back exercises in the bicep exercises and then continue throughout this session. It's two sets for each exercise. It's 8 to 15 rep range. This is a strength workout so I want you to try to push your body bring that heavier weights into this session. Try to get a weight where you're struggling to push forward with those 15 reps. If you haven't got access to any heavy weights and uh, some movements are too easy, go to failure. Even if that's 20 plus reps, bring the body to failure with, with this session. It's 45 seconds of work and 20, um, sorry, 20 seconds of recovery, okay? So use that time frame to give it your all with this workout. The session is going to last just under 30 minutes and it's going to be a brilliant workout to push forward with your goals and as I always say, it's brilliant to add in these split muscle groups uh, workouts into your training routine to keep you pushing forward and add that progressive overload within our training routine. So get ready, get motivated and let's push forward with this bag and bicep session together. Well, let's get into it. round number one of our bag and bicep sculptor of the session. We're gonna kick it off with two sets of deadlifts and we're working in that eight to 15 rep range. As I always say, if you're using those lighter weights, push to failure, push past the rep range, okay? But if possible, try to go with a heavier weight. Let's try to focus on pushing our body within those eight to 15 reps, struggling to get past the 15, okay? It's 45 seconds of work, it's 20 seconds of rest, so the intensity is high. This is gonna be high intensity strength and sculpt session. Okay, let's get into it. We have 10 seconds to get the weights ready and get prepared. I'm going with two sets of dumbbells. One heavier curve and one lighter curve because we're going to be doing some uh, like rear delt flies which will need lighter weights if we we'll have access to it. Right, let's go. Two sets of deadlifts. Focusing on good form. It's all back biceps, split muscle groups here. <sighs> 10 seconds. Go on. Five, four, three, two, one. Good. Big recovery. Go again, second set. Okay, ready? Three, two, one, let's go. Back is probably my favorite body part to train. So many people overlook the power of training your back. But it is a game changer for your overall physique. I said keep going with these deadlifts. 15 seconds. Now 10. Set 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay team, we're going a cross body hammer curl. So you can go both weights at the same time, or you can go alternate one arm up, then alternate to the opposite. I'm gonna go both arms at the same time. Let's go. This is a tough movement. With a heavy enough weight, you're gonna feel it. Even a lighter weight with high reps. Says you're gonna cross the body these hammer curves. Keep the squeeze for a few seconds at the top. Recovery, 
Let's go. 15. Not easy. Be the born. 10 seconds. Let's go. Go on. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. On real. Okay. Next one is gorilla overhand row. So you're bent over and you're alternating like that. Okay, but make sure you hold the weight with the overhand, not neutral grip, overhand. So you're working more with the upper back. Biceps obviously is being worked here too. Core is engaged. Right, let's go for it. Overhand. Let's try and get that rep range. Get the 15. It's a tough move. Go on. Five. Okay, 10 seconds of recovery, back in it. It's a tough exercise album. Right, let's go. Fifteen seconds. Burning. It's a tough one, team. That is tough. Right, the next one you'll be glad to know is a body weight exercise. It's just the body weight Superman. Okay. So you're lying back on your ground on the stomach, hands out the front, bring both limbs off the ground, come back down like that. Superman pull-ups, you're slightly raising your lower back up off the ground. Okay? So, everything out straight, come up and back in like so. Or you can bring your hands right back like that, good stretch, down. It's like a Superman pull-up this one. Okay? Feel the burn. And if I say it enough, it gets ingrained in my head and I start. Ten seconds. Honey, I'm a perfect head. Go on, three, two, one. Fifteen to recover. Okay, going five, four, three, two, one. Same again. Let's go. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Bro. Shrugs. Okay, dumbbell shrugs. Holding the two weights to your side. Or if you're using a kettlebell, the same thing, but you're just shrugging up. Okay, using your shoulders to raise up when you're working your traps and your back. Okay. 
It's a good exercise to even help with your posture, okay? So stand up straight and just raise the shoulders up. Keep squeezing the top, back down again. You're working your whole back there. And your arms remain targeted also for this movement. Five, four, three, two, one. Good. And our set of these shrugs, and then one more exercise to finish off round one. Same thing, 8 to 15. Brilliant. Okay, finishing off round one, then I'm gonna do this kneeling. You can do it seated on the edge of a chair or a bench, or you can do it standing. I'm gonna do kneeling curves, alternating, like so. Okay, with a twist. If you're using like a weight so you wanna make it more difficult, keep your arms fully extended out, like that, and just keep going. But if you're using a wee bit heavier, you can bring a wee bit of momentum with the alternating. Let's go. Ten seconds, dig deep. Five, four, three, two, one. Unreal, one more set. Three, two, one, go team. Arch of Borland here, 20 seconds. Go on, last ten. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, squad, brilliant work. Back and biceps here are burning. Grab a quick drink and then we're gonna get in till our next set of exercises. Keep up the hard work. Okay team, moving into round number two, we're going to kick it off with Renegade Rose. We're going to showcase this movement before we begin the time. So the most difficult variation is to keep yourself up into this high push-up position when you're rowing the dumbbells up and in. Okay? Now if that's too difficult, onto your knees and just Renegade Row like so. Okay? So it's entirely up to you. You can even go a few reps up and then a few reps on your knees. Okay? 10 second countdown. Let's go for it. It's a brilliant exercise here for your back, but also to stabilize and engage the core. So let's go for it. Same thing, you can always try to lift heavier with this movement. It is hard. So maybe start off lighter and build yourself up. Yeah, let's go. Find your good. 
good position. Let's go, 15. Right 
It's not easy, but it's all worth it. This is how we get results. Okay, this bike to bike style of training is very effective to add that progressive overload onto our training routine. Let's go, a few more reps. Good work. Okay, pullovers is next. Just the one more, we're lying back on the ground, and then go on full extension with the dumbbell up over the head.
15 seconds, let's go. Last 10. Three, two, one. Right, this is it. Okay, one arm, row, up and in. Okay, full extension, right down, boom. Okay, get into that position. One arm for one set, and then we rotate around to the opposite arm for the second set. Okay? Right, let's go. Go on, 10 seconds. Far through these reps. Brilliant work squad, there it is. Our back and bicep muscle building, strength, and sculpt session complete. That right there, as I always say, is a brilliant workout to add in an extra few times, okay? Because if you're looking to build up a specific area of your body, whether it be your back, your biceps, chest, shoulders, triceps, your legs, glutes, whatever it may be, add in an extra session into your weekly training. It's going to help that progressive overload. Focus on trying to lift that heavier weight. Focus, or if you haven't got the heavier weights, bring more intensity. You know, uh, lower the rest time, increase the reps. There's so many different ways to add in progressive overload. Even increase the length of the session. You can add on an extra round, some of your favorite exercises. There's so many options and so much variety that you can do and add in to your own training routine to take your own personal results to the next level. So as always, I just want to say a massive well done. Absolutely love working out alongside with you every step of the way. Please be sure to leave a comment below. Let me know how you got on this session. Tag me in your stories and I'll see you on the next Train Like a Warrior workout. Have a good one.